Hey everybody, it's Jerry, and this is my brother. Again, close to the TV. What do you have to say to that, Sean? Because last time, uh, when they saw you playing the game, they're like, whoa, dude, you're too close to the TV. What do you have to say to that? Um, I gotta say is, I'm blind. That's why I wear these glasses right here. And that's the only re reason why I wear them. Look at, I just got a kill right now. If I was far away, I wouldn't have seen him. There, there you go. So that's his answer to that. Alright, guys. Alright, so today, um, awesome, exciting news for me. I finally got my Canvas Note A4 um, graphics tablet slash notepad featured wireless thing. This thing is so awesome. Look how thin this thing is. It's like, whoa, and it's freaking huge. This is a 17-inch monitor, I think, or a laptop, and this is it compared to it. So, basically, it's so it's big enough to where if I'm all the way over here in the corner, it's also in the corner over there on my laptop. So, that's amazing. Before I get into that, I want to go over my day. Alright, so I uh, went to school, you know, as normal, did my thing, easy day, got home, really expecting, uh, hoping that my box for this would come early, and it kind of did, so I made the unboxing video with my other camera, and I'll be uploading that either this weekend or early next week, so I can give my last video some views, um, anyway, so pretty sweet, there's the box. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, I guess to give you a sneak peek of this uh, video, I'm just going to show you what it came with. Now that I've kind of had everything to the side. It comes with the tablet itself. I call it a tablet, even though it's a graphics tablet, or whatever you want to call it. Um, anyway, I have this. I have the pen where you write. This is for the computer. Um, computer only. So I have that there. Um, and then I have this like casing that it came with, which we open, and we have two more pens, one red, one black. Um, basically, what's unique about this one is that you can unplug it and have it wireless. It runs on battery, and then you can take your own notes on it, just like while you're in school or whatever, in class, take your notes. And then you can upload your notes onto the computer and then convert them to rich text, or like, like a Word document, or you know what I mean. Basically, it'll look like Notepad. Just copy the words and then pop it into whatever editing program. Anyway, so it comes with um, two pens. comes with some replacement uh, pen tips for both that and I think also for these. Not sure. Uh, they should be in there, but I haven't opened it yet. The back, I mean. Um, we got a few of these tablet um, covers, which this one is my favorite one just because it doesn't have any stupid graphics. No, I'm kidding. It doesn't have any graphics on it, and it's clear. I don't know, just and it feels a lot better when it's on. So I keep that one on there. That's pretty cool. And basically, it comes with a notepad. The cool thing about this one is that it doesn't need special paper to work, because all the buttons right here on the side for new pages and stuff. So that's really cool. Um, let me see. So yeah, you write on here while that is under this paper, and it copies down whatever, so that's pretty cool. Um, but I like to, I'm not using that right now, so. Yeah. And yes, you can use like whatever paper that you have. Um, let me see what else. These right here, these actually take batteries, so yeah, and then, um, yep, that's pretty easy. That's basically this guy. Don't want to talk too much about it. It's kind of big, but I mean, if you're going to be taking notes with it, it's the perfect size. It's nice and big and awesome, and you can see my hand size compared to this thing. It's pretty amazing. Um, it was kind of pricey, though, $170, but I totally recommend anyone at this point to get it. So before I make my review, um, at this point, the first day I got it, I recommend everyone to get a tablet. And if you can, this one is pretty cool. I haven't tried any other ones. But uh, my experience with this one so far is amazing. You can actually use this like that, like that, like that. You know, so there's four different ways that you can use it. For my computer, since my computer is widescreen, I use it like this. So that's pretty nice. Um, only bummer is, though, that when, it's, when I'm using the tablet right here, 
I can't use my dual screen, which is up there. But I can still use my mouse and everything, you know, and uh, go up there. It's just when I put my pen down right here, let's say, it'll come out like right there. See, I'm using my pen. Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> let's open up Photoshop. I was messing around. I drew YouTube. What's really cool is that I was I got this. I printed out the YouTube logo. That's why it's all kind of cut off. I had to kind of improvise on this last end. But um, I basically put it here, and I just traced it. And that was pretty, pretty cool. So, that's that. Let me see. Let me go ahead and show you something here. Um, yeah, yeah. You can see it's like all pressure sensitive and everything. So that's cool. I'm really liking this thing. Really exciting for me. So, anyway, I'll have the video up about that. Like a review or something and how to use it. Or how I use it. Later on... Uh, yep, it's really cool because it's just like any other tablet, you can control your whole computer with it. Only thing you're missing really is a keyboard. And I have not been using my mouse like all day today really, at all. So, yep, it actually, this one has two buttons on it on the pen, right there. So if I press one button, let's see if we go to my desktop really quick. Um, well, okay, one of the upper button is set so I can scroll up and down. And the other button is set so it's the um, right click on the keyboard. So, that's pretty cool. Yeah, anyway, I'm just having a little fun here. My first tablet, really happy about it. So anyway, guys. Thank you for watching this video. You didn't really get to see my face too much in here, which is probably a relief to you guys. A little break, huh? And if you didn't see, I had, I think I had a ghost in my house in my last video. Like, it looked like the popcorn machine turned by itself, and it was really, really creepy. Um, go to the last video, check that out. I was like, I'm still kind of freaking out over it. And w when it happens, you'll see me like an annotation at the end of the video, or on the bottom of that um, video at the time that it happens. So anyway, I, I still can't figure out how it happened. Maybe I turned my camera a certain way, but then the frame on the side kind of stays put. It's weird. Uh, you got to see it to believe it. It's like, I'm still kind of creeped out about it. Anyways, guys, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Peace.